Good morning, everyone. I am Gayatri Kutishwami, second year president from Vivai Patel Medical College, Kolapur. My paper was shown comparison of CT photography and color doctor ultrasound for reduction of the research in somatic patient. The study was done under the guidance of Dr. Pradeep Patel. Introduction for chronic liver disease and fetal hypertension or common clinical encounters. Liver disease continues to happen for substantial proportion of the healthcare utilization in India. Cirrhosis related death is estimated to increase and expected to be the fifth leading cause of death in 2020. The cause of cirrhosis varies in different parts of the world, with uh, hepatitis C and alcoholism predominating in Western countries and hepatitis B in Asia and Africa. In India, alcoholism is the most common cause of cirrhosis, while HEPA B is the cause of chronic liver disease in general and non-cirrhotic chronic liver disease. Elevated hydrostatic pressure within the portal vein or its tributaries manifesting as increase in pressure gradient between the portal vein and hepatic or inferior vena cava is termed as portal hypertension. Development of portal hypertension and hyperdynamic circulation is the ultimate end result in cirrhotic patients leading to significant morbidity and mortality. Incident of esophageal viruses in cirrhotic patients is 80 to 90 percent, and about one third of patients with esophageal viruses develop variceal bleeding, leading to high morbidity and mortality. Hence, there is need to develop a non invasive, reliable imaging technique for diagnosis and assessment of portal hypertension. The most common cause of death in cirrhosis patient is upper GI brain due to development of esophageal viruses. We must be aware of the normal sonographic and CT anatomy of the portal and systemic circulation to understand the various collateral pathways. Aim and objective of the study is to compare diagnostic efficacy of CT photography and color Doppler ultrasound for reduction of viruses in cirrhotic patients. The methodology is 30 patients who diagnosed with the decompensated liver cirrhosis has been sent to the Department of Radio Diagnosis. The patients are subjected for the study after taking a consent. Patients are subjected for reduction of viruses on ultrasound and findings are compared to CT photography. The inclusion criteria is patients of decompensated, patients with decompensated liver cirrhosis due to any etiology are included in the study. The exclusion criteria would uh, severe uh, hematemesis, previous history of allergy to contrast agent, renal failure patients, and hepatorenal syndrome, refusal to participate in the study. The results. Uh, 30 patients with cirrhotic liver, among 30, uh, 17 had esophageal viruses of different grades in the endoscopy. This uh, table depicts a grading. Among 17, uh, 4 patients had grade 1 and 10 patients had grade 2, where the 3 patients had grade 3. And this bar diagram showing the the grading of esophageal viruses in endoscopy and those detected in CT and color doctor ultrasound. Uh, among 13 patients who, uh, who had no viruses on endoscopy, one showed viruses on uh, CT and none has been detected on ultrasound. Among four, among four grade one, three has been detected by CT, none has been detected by ultrasound. Among 10 grade 2 esophageal viruses, all the 10 has been detected by uh, CT, none has been detected by ultrasound. Where the grade 3, or uh, 3, 3 patients had grade 3, all the 3 has been detected by um, ultra, detected by CT and only 1 has been detected by ultrasound. Uh, therefore, from this result, uh, where uh, CT can detect all the grade 1 and grade 2 uh, viruses, esophageal viruses, where the ultrasound can only detect grade 3 esophageal viruses. These are the different uh, uh, different viruses has been compared with CT photography and color doppler. 
where 17 had esophageal varices among 17, only one has been detected on color droplet. Where nine showed the para esophageal varices on CT photography, among nine, only six has been detected by the ultrasound, color droplet ultrasound. Uh, and gastric mucosal varices, five has been detected on CT. Among five, only two has been detected by ultrasound. 13 showed perigastric collaterals on CT photography. Among 13, only four showed, um, uh, four has been detected by ultrasound. With 24 patient showed periumbilical collaterals on CT photography. Among 24, almost all of the patient, almost 22 have showed periumbilical collaterals on color doppler. Where 22 patients had um, showed splenorenal collaterals on CT, among 22, 21 uh, has been detected by ultrasound. Uh, where 9 patients showed pericholecystic collaterals on CT photography, among 9 cysts has been detected by ultrasound. So this is uh, this table column shows a positive in both where positive uh, in both CT and color Doppler ultrasound. CT color Doppler only this is uh, only detected on CT. Therefore, uh, the sensitivity this table column depicts the sensitivity specificity positive predictive value negative predictive value of ultrasound versus CT. For deduction of photosystemic collateral, where the specificity and the positive predictive value for the CT is 100% for all the varices and uh, collaterals, for all the photosystemic collaterals. Discussion. In our study, most of the patient included way between 30 to 60 years of age with a mean age of 55.7%. The cause of cirrhosis in most cases was either chronic alcoholism or chronic hepatitis infection. Other causes include non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, extra hepatic portal venous obstruction, mm -hmm. where 2 out of 30 patients had no identifiable cause and were included in cryptogenic cirrhosis category. Um, where this is the pathophysiology of development of collaterals in portal hypertension, and these are the different sites of the photosystemic collaterals. When, when the patient develops liver cirrhosis, there is increased intrahepatic vascular resistance, and there is elevated blood flow through the portal venous system, and there is a high pressure hepatopetal flow, which is a normal flow, but there is a high pressure, then redirected through the alternative low pressure systemic pathways, and there is a formation of the extensive photosystemic collaterals. This image shows uh, various photosystemic collaterals, where we can see esophageal, where we can see the perigastric collaterals, and sclenorenal collaterals, and uh, retroperitoneal, and there will be a rectal collaterals and uh, periumbilical collaterals. The following sites we evaluated for the presence of varices in ultrasound and CT would be uh, distal esophagus, paraesophageal, perigastric, gastric mucosal, splenorenal, anterior abdominal wall, periumbilical, retroperitoneal, and pericholecystic regions. This is a case where 47 year old male presented with hematemesis and abdominal distension, where the ultrasound shows a normal GA junction, where the actual CD image shows a shrunken liver, shrunken with a nodular surface, nodular surface, and there is some multiple uh, enhancing protrusion noted in the esophagus. This show this is a uh, this consistency was grade one varices on endoscopy. This is the esophageal varices. This is a case of 56 year old male patient um, who is a chronic alcoholic presented with two episodes of a hematemesis where the Doppler image shows the presence of long, um, tortuous vessel in the stomach wall and the actual CT image uh, shows the septicemic collaterals in the gastric wall which is a gastric mucosal varices. This is a case of 38 year old male patient presented with abdominal pain and shortness of breath. The Doppler study shows the presence of 
tortuous vessel between the kidney. Kidney is not seen in the same way. Between the spleen and the kidney, uh, where the coronal uh, CT image shows uh, multiple varices in communication with the splenic vein and the renal vein is, uh, which is, appears to be dilated and there is a splenorenal shape. This is the splenorenal collaterals. This is a case of 55 year old male with a chronic alcoholic patient presented with weak abdominal discomfort, breathlessness, and loss of weight. The Doppler shows a present tortuous vessel in the pericolecystic region. And on the axial, uh, it shows a multiple cepigenes pericolecystic collateral, which is the pericolecystic collateral. This is a CT image, the axial and the coronal CT image, where we can see the nodular and the shrunken liver and the gross ascites and with the presence of large para esophageal varices, which is surrounding the esophagus circumferentially, surrounding the esophagus. This is a para esophageal varices. Conclusion, ultrasound detects grade 3 varices and CT detects grade 2 and 3 varices. CT is better for delineation of all portosystemic collaterals compared to ultrasound. Ultrasound is inferior to MD CT portal venous phase in delineating complex collateral pathways. Multi-slice CT scan detects potentially problematic varices by detailing the course of tortuous vessel, which is important in liver transplantation surgeries for detection of unexpected varices that can result in significant bleeding. So these are the references. Thank you.